We've had a very busy six months at Mulgarve. substantially complete the civils works. The site is now being run by Siemens. They are cracking on with the ME install and we're in a really good place to hit our programme date of March 2018 for the bypass energisation. To achieve that date we have to build an air insulated switchgear bypass arrangement which the guys are on with at the moment and nearing completion of that external equipment. We're going to go up and have a look at um, Melgarf substation, it's a temporary bypass. The lads at the moment are actually putting the trapeze on, which is the hanger for the pantograph disconnector. The lads over here are building an air switch and surge arresters. The gas insulation switch gear will be arriving at the end of October. We need to come up with a solution that would allow us to get power onto the customer in the time that they wanted. So the only way to do that was to construct this air insulated switch gear system and that allows us to continue working on the longer lead and more complex gas insulated system. One of the key aspects of the project has been the logistics of getting the transformers to site. You couldn't transport them as a single unit. So they split them into three, so they could go over the local road network. We will energise through number one transformer, and that will allow the strong leg wind farm to come on the network in March. We're about to go up to the top of the transformer and put on the uh, earth bonds between the spider pipes. This is a 400 kV transformer and it's one of the largest transformers you'll ever see. You're approximately two and a half months to install the whole thing. We recently received the two portable relay rooms on site, which is a major milestone. That is on the critical path for delivering the bypass solution for the March connection date. The GIS building itself, uh, we've had a partial handover from Global, so we're into a couple of rooms, um, installing some of the ancillary equipment, the LVAC board and, and the battery chargers. There's a small school at Lagan that's got 20 kids, so we organised a visit the kids came up, they got a chance to see what a construction site's about. They're young kids, but they had a really good uh, time on site and got a really good understanding of what's going on. <laughs> what do you think that is? We did a really nice thing at the school where they had a piece of ground and we turned it into a nature garden. They wanted a wee path around their, their pond, they wanted a wee handrail around it. They wanted a walkway over here and they wanted a potting shed. It's a small school, so they, they, they don't get much help in for government grants or things like that, so it's, uh, anything we do for them is quite good. Yeah. 